I do know everything, but you, you know, sometimes you're that outer planetary solar system where it's uh, outer quite planetary. Quite a bit different, system. Eileen. Incredible, Eileen is incredible. Uh, so what's going on, Bill? What part of the, of the world? Did you get back to your place? Not yet, no. What, did they paint to me or what? No, it's a long <laughs> story I'd rather not even go into, but it just sucks. It's with that one. Oh, yeah? Well, hopefully. No, ho one, everything is beautiful in its own way. No. Its own oh, way. that song, oh, nauseating. It's like Debbie Boone singing, You Light Up My Life. It makes you, makes you want to vomit. She was a pyromaniac. So the aide went shopping with me today. And she Why? You can't shop on your own? Wait a minute. No, she, we just did it together. She wanted to go shopping, you know? What? No, I don't know. She no. wanted to look for things for herself, you know? Shopping no, is easy. Know. You don't need an aide to I go mean, shopping. You know, what do you, what do you I, No, I don't know. No, Why do you I need don't an aide? Yeah. So, she saw me in the store, but I didn't see her good without my glasses. I went without my glasses, you know? You know. I, see, I just don't. You know. <laughs> Listen, shopping is really common sense. I'm going to the bathroom. You get home. Why do you need an aid to, to shop? She wanted to go shopping. Oh, why is what she an aid? What do you need for? So, I had her to help around the house, but she didn't help around the house. So oh, sounds like my mother's caregiver. She saw me, but she, but she didn't acknowledge it. And then, <laughs> and then I couldn't find it. This is going to be a long story, isn't it? Because I didn't have my glasses on. So I went looking, I went crazy looking for her in the store then. Oh, uh, you see what I meant about if she's giving you advice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then the, the, guy you know? the, the guy in the store had to call the agency and he said he was going to call the police. So then she finally Why found you, me that. What? Everywhere you go, he's got to calling the police. Having trouble with the agency. What is somebody Somebody's stealing her money. Your brother was stealing your money. Now he's not stealing your money. What is going he never on? Gives me money. Well, you accuse him of stealing, and he's not. And you accuse him of making eighty thousand a year. Maybe he is. Who Maybe knows? he isn't. Only God knows. Though. God knows. What? What? Only God knows. How do you, and you, you says he made eighty grand. Then you said, well, maybe I know not. He does. Find out. Yeah, I'll oh, call yeah, him up yeah. right now. Oh, I'm just right. Make eighty thousand a year. Let me get my Get Smart uh, shoe phone. I uh, mean, you gotta stop this. <laughs> you gotta make. You got some imagination, girl. Come on now. now. If you call him up, you'll find out. Though. I'll give him your cell phone number. This is just, this is not normal. And you know what he's gonna say? It's none of your damn business if I make eighty thousand. <laughs> That's what he's gonna no, tell. You know, this guy might say, "I don't have a sister." Oh, who? Eileen who? I don't have, I don't, I've never heard of her. Eileen, come on. Come on, man, really. You're listening to that little thing that's squabbling around. And, and what, and what are you, it. and what are you listening to? I'm listening to my own mind. I'm a oh, oh, my graduate. God, Eileen, there's your... I know your... what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like Donald Eileen, Trump. Eileen, no, you don't. I do. You're like Donald no, Trump. No, you don't. I do. You're delusional. I graduated on the D. Almost. You guys are not college graduates. You're listening to a little thing that's around with me. With you're on the Dean's list where? She says we're not. Li you're, see, you're getting that roll on where you speed up. Now, Dean's list from where? Where? What from school? Where you college. You in what? See my degree? I could bring it in here. Yeah, bring it you in. You know what? Please. That would be I'd quite like interesting. I'd I'd like I would love to see it. that. You're going to forget it. It wasn't it. Donald Trump's university, was it? No, it was William Patterson. William Patterson. Okay. It was an accredited school. I think I got some well, you never told me you had good jobs. You I, told me you worked at McDonald's and this and that. I never worked at McDonald's. I worked in public oh service. Oh, my God. They now you did. To be a you told me you used to work here. I never worked here. You're not here, right, Bill? Clean out the oh box. Oh, my in God. She told me she here. worked here. You know what? I'm bringing hard liquor in in, oh, in, in I a mean, mason I jar. I your stories. I never worked here, Bill. I'm, I you need, told me you I need did. to bring some well, whiskey. You're not here. I'm hearing just fine, Eileen. It's time you cleaned out the ears, the wax out of the ears. <laughs> the wax out of the ears. It's always everybody else, isn't it? She's like, she's like Trump. She told me though. she used to work here. I never worked here. And now here. she's got public, she had I a worked public service Roy job. Rogers, and I, worked, I worked in Roy Rogers, and I worked in Burger King down the road, but I never worked here. She made the dean's list in William Patterson College? Eileen. I went to Elmer Fudd at University and Bugs Bunny was my professor. 
He majored in FUD. Majored in fudding, fudding around. <laughs> These guys like to put me down because I'm not interested in you. No, but you changed the guy. No, you hear, it's just you don't have a guy. You hear what she's saying? You don't that have a guy. We're, this guy is a, a guy. We're after her. Well, you have a guy, but he's and, a fake. And they asked me when he's going to marry me, and I didn't give him an answer. <laughs> You told and me. He's still with me. We've been together. She said we're jealous of her guy. You won't let me get a word in. You told me he was going to marry you, marry you at sixty. He's sixty three now. He's six. He's not sixty three. He's sixty one, and he's very. Sick. <laughs> now he's sixty. Did, did you hear sixty three? Eileen, you're still <laughs> over the board. I'm losing it. My God, they change. Please. I never seen a human being change stories like this one. I the never in my life. And she no, goes from I, I mean they don't. she goes from fast they food don't. to public serve PSC and G public service. She, you're on a dean's. Every, you sound like Donald Trump. Everybody knows that. Know Wait a minute. You have a, ba a bachelor's. You, 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 you have a bachelor's. Oh. I've had a bachelor's for the longest time. Yeah, I graduated. I'm a very smart girl. No, no, I'm not I asking you if you're smart or not. I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm asking you. You have a bachelor's degree and you made the dean's honors list. Almost, except for one class. Almost? She just said she made I the dean's a honors B, list. Uh, B minus two. Help, help me. Yeah, Liquor store. Where is my bottle of rum? Except for one class, otherwise it would have been on the dean's list. No, B minus is, is, is almost a C. You're not going to make the yeah, dean's but she, list. But first she said she made even, the Even the low A's list. don't make the dean's list. My brother was on the dean's list too. We're a very smart family. Well, how could so you be on the dean's list if you didn't make it? Oh, she said she's on. She said she was on the dean's list, and then now she's saying she almost made it. Oh. And then, you're, you're except for one class, I would. Well, have then been you on didn't the make it. I one have been on the dean's one list. class is not going to lift you from a B minus up to an A plus for the dean's. I list. made the dean's list in technical school, but I made the dean's list. I had the certificate at home. Boy, this is just a. Uh... Unbelievable. First wow. she made it, then she didn't make it. Then, she, wait, the bachelor's degree is that for real? That's for real. All right, bring a copy in. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. Ah, uh, she don't want to bring well, it in now. You do okay. when your stories jump all over the place. I mean, we don't know what to really, truly believe. That's why. This is without a doubt maniacal Wednesday madness. Yesterday was maniacal Tuesday madness. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's incredible. Uh, I think the amulet, you know, I think it's time for the amulet. She won't even answer. Because her, I think her stories are changing more than ever. Our friend, uh, acquaintance, Eileen, does she really have a bachelor's? Ice cream in a minute? Does she really have a bachelor's degree from you William Patterson College? <laughs> Well, it's saying she has the bachelor's degree. I do. It's no bullshit. I don't bullshit. Now, does, well, did Eileen did, did Eileen really make the dean's honors Almost, list? Almost, except for one class in the side. Okay, but she changed the story though. Okay. Um, okay. Does Eileen change the story excessively, like an obsession? Says yes. Okay. Did Eileen? Is this what what it means when the Irish kiss the Blarney Stone? That means they're, that means they're full of crap. That's what that means. <laughs> Does that mean they're they have the gift of gab? They're bullshit artists. Oh God. Where's me lucky charms? Where's me lucky charms? Give her ice cream, I'll be back. Magically delicious. Well, the, am the amulet, the amulet. Yeah, and I don't want anybody Look, the, the amulet proved it. Yeah. You have a degree in what? I have a degree in communications and minor Communications? Okay, does Eileen have a, a degree in communications from William Patterson? I'll bet it says yes. I do, it's no lie. I'll bring in the certificate if you want to see it. Oh. It says yes. I, I thought you said you don't want to bring it in. I know, because I don't this, have to prove it. I have to look, go looking for things to find it. This doesn't lie. It says yes. When it says no, you don't want to believe it. When it says yes, you believe it. You have selective belief. 
She's like Donald Trump. Does Eileen have selective belief, a selective belief system in her mind? <laughs> You only believe what you want to believe. And when you something you don't want to believe, you don't believe it. Like you believe in God, but you've never seen God, you're believing in the supernatural. Now let me ask you a Is question. Is Eileen foolish for believing in God? Huh. Okay, I have a question. Did, right, did, did God create man? Do that. Yes, God created They're saying no. Watch it stop swinging. Did man create God? Yes. Hmm. Is Eileen believing in the supernatural? Yes. Now, Is Eileen believing in something that she has never seen, only been told? He asks very good questions. And, and, and there you go. He he's he's a prophet. He's I know it. The supernatural. He's got the Anunnaki. 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 I mean, let me get her ice cream. But uh, oh, I have a question for Eileen. Now I used to. They made me go to Sunday school in Catholic. Be in here now. Like, okay, I'm Cut me off. Here. All right. You okay. Went to Sunday school. The the book the book that I the book that I got received in Sunday school had a picture of what they thought God looked like, which was an old man with a long white beard and long white hair sitting on a cloud, like he was lounging. Like, okay, did, at that time, did you question that ridiculous paint painting? A little bit. It was kind of fun, comical, right? Yeah. That God would be an old man in a white robe yeah. with a white beard laying on a cloud, like yeah. lounging back, you know, like this. He was like lounging, like, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I doubted it too. I, I laughed actually, because how do they know, number one? And why, does, why do they think he looks that way, number two? And why do they think heaven is in the clouds? What do people do all day? Play harps floating around amongst the clouds? I don't think so. You know, it's called... Uh, Independent, free, independent, critical thinking, or independent, critical. Holy crap! He's, you know, I like that guy. Listen, that guy's good. Look, look at the size of that sucker. Look, look at it. Look how she's ready to grab it. Look at the way. Look at the way she's trying to grab that sucker. She loves things in her mouth. Well, look, 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 look. Well, that's it. We're not going to hear from her for a while. Yeah, but look how she she's like relishing in it. Look at it. Oh, it'll be gone in two seconds. Which is a funny, it's a funny saying, oh, eating it with relish, you know? Oh. Look, look at it. Look at her going. Oh, this is definitely maniacal. Um, Why did you ever buy yourself Wednesday Madness. I told you I spent a Monday on my car. But then before you said you spent it at the thrift shop all the time. Oh, oh my I God. Buy at the thrift shop. Say you're always buying clothing, clothing that I you don't wear. I stopped Oh, I lean. Listen, recently I stopped buying. Listen, don't buy dry rot, disgusting, worn out, old crap from Goodwill Industries or yes. Salvation Army. Let's see. You, you, did, our, did our friend here at McDonald's, Eileen, spend all of her money on her car? Yes. See, it doesn't lie. All right. Well, yeah, why? But you said this only costs four dollars, and it's full of shit. It doesn't tell the truth. There you go. It's giving you a fair shake. Come on. It's giving you a fair. Does Eileen not believe in you because she's afraid of you? Doesn't. Yes. You know what? If I ever want ice cream, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that kid serves me because you got a whopper. That is. Oh, no, I told him to. Yeah. I said yeah. make it a good one for her. No, no, he listens. I said the more I put stuff in her mouth, the more quiet she'll be. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told. Yeah, yeah. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at look at it. Look at her mouth. It's all over her mouth. 
It's like little kids when they eat chocolate. <laughs> You're not going to talk now, are you? I'm quiet for a while. For a while? Gee, is that what food does to you, Eileen? <laughs> She's uh -huh. quiet for a while. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, by yeah. the way, uh -huh. <clears throat> your I need your later on. I need your cigarette match to uh, to cauterize this to cool. light it, or just to light it. We should really get another cord. I have tons of it, but it but this these things are not good. Listen, this cord hey, Jimmy, it, for, I'll, I'll it's strong it and no. it's waxy. It's better than fil filthy dental floss. Is this cord on you right now? Put Jimmy put on you too taut and a little, a little bit too stiff. Well, it's sure swinging. Swings better and quicker with a, uh, yeah. Would you prefer something more like a dental floss, which is a lot more loose and yeah. less taut? That gets so dark and dingy. Stop arguing, Jimmy. Look at that. Look at that. It's swung mm -hmm. Yes, it's well, 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 can I, ha can I have a flame? It only take a couple seconds. Yeah, I don't care, but you're, you're doing it wrong. You should, you should get dental floss on that. I got a big spool of that. Well, that's not good. It doesn't like it. Of course, wax dental floss is much lighter. That's a that's a no brainer. And when they when somebody buys an amulet, it comes with a nice thin, loose chain. That's that nice. is that's very true. Nothing that's tight and taut like this. Though. I don't know where you got this from. This I got it from the Dollar, the, the Dollar Tree. There, there's your problem. Why should I pay top dollar? Dental floss is not expensive. I know you're right. Jimmy, it's everywhere. You're being cheap, and you're cheapening the effect. But dental floss has a tendency to get dingy and dirty fast. And you just want to argue, don't you? No, I just don't like dirt. I don't like dirt. I'm very fastidious. There's Jimmy, my friend Jimmy and Madonna just like to argue. Look how fast she's eating it. No, I have. I'm opinionated. Yes. Look at that thing. That thing's My dad was always right, wasn't he? We said, you just can't get through to people, can you? Why, you, your father was like you? He had to be right all the time? Your dad I, was very, very, really wrong. I spoke he, to him one time. He seemed like a very logical, said, said, intelligent, just, reasonable... He said, you just can't get through to people. They don't listen. They've got to learn the hard way. Yeah. He said, they just don't get it. Learn what are you going to do? Look yeah, how yeah. fast she sucked that That's, down. Yeah, do it, buy her another one. Well, anyway, oh, give me strength. Well, that's the story. I sent. Uh, well, just relax. Yeah, let me you're, just relax. You're keep talking all the time. No, so I was going to say something that was important, uh, but uh, I decided not to. Good, good. 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 So, in other words, you're like Rick Brown. I don't know from California he, only his agenda in his life counts Jimmy, nobody Jimmy, else counts Jimmy, you you do go on, on. no I was gonna say something that was and important it's, just a real, okay let's how important was it what was it you ever you ever you ever feel like oh, you're, and now you, ever, you're to her. you ever feel like no, um, you. See, it's sometimes it. it's best to be a hermit a recluse now he turns to Eileen. and not even have any see? friends because if they don't give a rat's ass about what's going on with your life, you might as well just hang up by yourself. Well, she, we're getting the That's whole story. my one friend. She won't even listen to my problems. So last night she was looking for a ride, and she won't put gasoline in the car either. So I told Where her. Are I'm you missing. two peas from the same pod? He got mad at his friend, uh, <laughs> the creation guy. Oh, uh, can create. Wouldn't give him money for gas. Your friend won't give you right. money for gas. Yeah. You two are peas from no, the No, you know what? That's called, that's called a typical New York Metro flim flam artist. But isn't this ironic? You know how many flim flam people no. are in this area alone? How many? Tons of them. There are tons. Tons of them. See, but isn't this ironic? Now, uh, by the way, uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 the situation, that, the pickle that you were in recently, I was it? I am in it. Yes, but was it your fault? Did you do something? I don't want to talk about it. It's a pain. All right, all right. And Bill, she was telling all my business back to my guys, so I didn't bother Oh, her no, her my guy again. And someone said she was saying bad things about me too, Bill, so I didn't bother with her. Oh, somebody mm -hmm. shoot me, please. When she said bad things, was she telling you the truth about this so-called boyfriend of yours? Bad things about me, I heard. Oh, oh okay. What about you and Ray, huh? 
Oh, that's 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 a reality show that would uh, would it get ratings? I don't know. <clears throat> you gonna get another cold? Not really. I'm gonna get myself one. No, I need I need something refreshing. Well, so does she. You want to spend a dollar seven on her? Oh, is that what that goes for? Yeah, come on, man. I bought her how many? You don't buy any. Jeez, man, come on. Yeah, but you you got that big win for a lawsuit. So did you, You're rolling you in dough. What did you say? Twenty nine thousand. You got from back pay or whatever. Well, you got like five hundred grand from the lawyer. Well, right? Whoever told you that? I wouldn't lie. I never said. Well, you didn't get half a mil. Oh, close to it. No. Where do you get these things from? You both of well, you. But you, you, you deprive you, yourself. You, you, you deprive yourself of some basic luxuries of life. I don't Certain understand. You just don't give a rat's ass about. You know, I feel I feel bad that you have to. You worry about the food you eat, the whole bit. Give me a can of Chef Boyardee. I'm happy. Let me tell you something. Give me a burger. I'm happy. You know, I just don't care. You know what? Certified. You, you, you people would be great soldiers in war. You know what? Oh, I could see you all in the trenches fighting. You, you oh, ever, this place is dirty. You, you ever see it. the military food? That they give the soldiers and in, they in packets. Eat, and they eat it. It's crap. It's government crap. See what I mean? See what I mean? It's it, crap. We know that. They eat it. That's it. Yeah, it's not. He wants or, gourmet meals out no, in battle. No, I want certified organic, non genetically then modified. You better, you better go to some other planet. You won't find that in anybody. I, I, I see it in the stores I go to. No, you don't. What the, what the, what the, gov what the soldiers are fed? No, not the military. Forget well, about the government. What, well, I'm talking about what you just said the military. Oh, yes, they give them crap. Yes, it's a military. And, and guess what? The congressmen and senators eat the best food why, money can buy. Why? They're not in battle. Why are you so picky? Because we're talking about elitists, people on top. Oh, no, 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 you you're exploiting getting, you're people not, on the bottom. You're not getting off the subject. I'm talking What's about being thing? in war. No, I'm talking about being in war. Feed them properly. No, uh -uh. You, you're full of shit. Feed Don't them properly. No, you're full of crap. Don't give me that. Thanks yeah. for the ice cream. You're welcome. They're underpaid as it is. Uh huh. You're picky. You're just plain no. Picky. I'm fair, and I care about the little no, guy. No, you don't. You don't care. The little guy would like an ice cream cone. <laughs> Okay, hot shot. Give her that. Well, how? She got a huge one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You just don't want to. She's gonna her, get heavy. You just don't want to get her. And you're concerned about Eileen's weight. Well, for her own good, yeah. I'll get you another one. Okay, he's saying he will not spend money on you. He can bitch and complain, Mr. Gourmet. Listen, here. I'm the one. No, I'm, not gonna I'm the one with responsibilities no. that night. I deserve an ice cream cone. Uh huh. You can go anywhere and, and party it up. You, you're free to go anywhere you want at night. Yeah, you, you know what? When he was, when he was young, he was the same way. He hasn't changed. Smug, you know, arrogant. Always have to, always have to have the last word. Always have to be right. Highly intelligent, but ar arrogant as they come. Arrogant as hell. Nobody could talk. He has to dominate. He's like the Pied Piper. You know, everybody's got to like follow him and you know put him on ivory tower. Like I'm only teasing you about about the education. I could care. I could. I don't care if you have a PhD from Harvard. I believe you. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to rile him up. I'm not all that smart, I admit that, Jimmy. I had to take a special couple of courses to be able to get into college, Jimmy. You know? What do they call that? SATs, right? I, I had to take a special courses to be able to get into college. Is that called the SAT? Jimmy. Is that called the SAT? I took SAT and then I had You're... to take other courses to get into college, oh, Jimmy. Well, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm going out for sure. Well, no, I... I, I, I in, okay. But I did get in, though, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, boy. But I had to take special classes to be able to get in. Uh, say my name a thousand more times. You follow me? Wow, another huge ice cream cone? You follow me though? I absolutely follow you what you're saying. You had to qualify to get in. Yeah, I had to take special courses. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, know? uh, you said the, that already. I don't know if the computer works right or what. Maybe the computer was wrong, but they made me have to take courses, you know? Okay. Uh, you have established that. Now you have another beautiful ice cream cone.
Let me um, let me go outside and aggravate Sir William, little Lord, little Lord Fauntleroy out there. Doctors trying to fuck my parents about twice too, so I don't buy that shit. They're not doing like many great things for your mom either, are they? Well, nothing special. Well, Come she off, she's not it. she's not declining. She's stabilized. It's not the doctors. You just I think you're just she's lucky. stabilized. I think you're lucky. Yeah, being fortunate. Hey, uh, my people. heart goes out to people with parents have dementia. And I went through it for yeah. over ten years. Gave my whole career up oh, for my father. Alzheimer's and you know ten, over and, uh, ten. Excuse me, over ten years. Y that's actually very true. He did sacrifice a great deal. Everything I did. And he sacrificed his social life and dates with hot-looking girls. Well, I had enough before, so... Yeah, you never have enough hot-looking women. Yeah, you do. You get, I told you yesterday, you get tired of it. It just gets... Boring. Even sex? Yes, it gets boring. It gets boring. It gets very, very boring. Eileen, do you think over the long term, that sex eventually can get boring. No, what are you asking? What are you asking? No, not sex. sex expert. She said sex offenders. <laughs> no, no. Come on, man. The subject of having it. Having sex? Yeah, you think it can get boring after a long time? You think so? Maybe? Oh, okay. All right. I respect you, your opinion and what he said. All right. Listen, okay, bear that. Gotta get through. We've got to get through. Jesus. You got to get, you got to get through. But William H. Moore the third is not always right. What am I wrong? What have I been wrong about? You have been wrong like on what? occasion. Like what? Uh, going against uh, food with chemicals and preservatives oh, and stuff. Like that. And then again, you got Warren Buffett saying, "Eat the crap." Warren Buffett is just a rich, freaking capitalist piece of shit. Seven years old, loves his junk food, and he says, "Just eat the stuff." He says, "Eat it." Stop listening to these health nuts that keep dropping. He's 87. Dead. Well, he's got great genetics. Uh -huh. well, how do you know? Maybe he doesn't. Because a, a man to live to 87 uh -huh. and not be into it, holistic it health. doesn't mean it's genetics. And vitamins and antioxidants. It doesn't mean it's genetics. You don't know that for sure. He's 87. That's all we know. And he loves his junk food. All right. And the whole bit. Do you honestly think the FDA, the USDA, and the American food industry has our best interests? I mean, re really. I don't really care. Do you? Do you have our best interest? Do you think you know it all about health benefits? And I know course? a lot about health. Do you? Maybe you're wrong. Oh, really? I'm wrong about antioxidants. Very possible. Free radical damage. You're wrong about a lot of the vitamins you used to name in the past that have been proven they don't do jack shit. No, I'm talking about. Well, that's fraud. That's no. different. That's just no. They found out the actual thing itself, even when it's not a, when it is for real. Natural vitamin E, four hundred units. They found it does nothing. Not Sharks do get cancer, the whole bit. So don't give me that. Antioxidants. <laughs> Tufts <laughs> University have proved no, then, antioxidants then work. Then they disproved. Now they found out the fish oil. <laughs> <laughs> Omega threes? That's like the fountain you know what, of youth. You know, it's like the fountain of youth. You know what it was? It was on the TV youth. a day or two ago. They found that it doesn't do a damn thing. Omega three fish oils? You sure it wasn't propaganda from big pharma, the drug companies? Are you sure it was propaganda from the big you, drug companies? You know the drug companies are glorified drug dealers. You know this. You know the, this. The whole. American healthcare industry is a racket. You know what racketeering stands why they, for? Why are they about to all go out of business? What? It was in the paper U.S. The American healthcare Vitamin industry? Vitamin World, Vitamin Shop, GNC are about to all go chapter 11. Nobody's be buying the crap Because anymore. they're getting the kibosh from the, from the, from the system. They're making crap and you know it. Well, then that's their own fault. I was warned years ago by people in the industry. If they're shooting themselves in the foot. You, you don't know what you're buying. It's usually just stems and twigs and powders. I know. Placebo. Not, placebo. They found you're getting off nothing. What they claim is in there. Nothing. You're pissing your money away. That's called fraud. But he bought, <coughs> I know that. I'm trying to get through to you on that. He, he, oh, you, I, you think you think I, 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 I condone fraud? No, no way. You buy into that industry? No, I, I buy, don't. I, I do buy not. certain products. Oh, and how do you know their brand is good? What proof do you have? Well, I never, I've never taken. Says I don't buy. I've that. never taken it to a lab, but exactly. So you don't even know what you're buying with that. So you don't know. You just. So don't what do you do? Know. You just like take, take nothing and just eat cheese whiz. 
Yeah. And drop dead at yeah, whenever. I agree with what the experts say. You know, the stress is the biggest killer of all. Just do it. Don't think about it. Don't worry about it. Just have stress. Stress is the biggest killer of all. You know how many people I ran into? Not, I mean, not him, but other people that I knew when I was 18, 21 years old. I ran into them. You know what they look like? They look decrepit. They look like they got... That's got nothing to do with anything. That's just... No, they party. Some people don't age well. Some do. No, they, 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 they weren't... Be good to make you look Everybody to... I meet over here at the hotel and everywhere I go, you're 66. No, they weren't yeah. a party. They're what? You're 66. I don't know anybody that party harder, harder than I did for three decades. You have, good gen you have great genetics. Well, we don't know, but... I, you know. Your parents must have looked young, Bill. They didn't age. They, they never... must have looked young, I said, Bill. I, uh, I said I leave. Yeah. They didn't age. Yeah, Eileen. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you know. They must have looked young then, Bill. Yes, they did, Eileen. They didn't get wrinkled, their hair didn't get gray, and uh, Oh boy. Boy, I'm trying to get through to y'all here, I see. It's hard. Like I said, selective beliefs. It's not these, good. These you can't people, believe just what you want. These people look like they had one foot on in the grave and one foot on the banana. But well, then field. again, we've had guys in high school that pretty truly got white or gray hair in high school. It happens. It happens. Nobody knows why. It's called premature gray or white. Oh, what were they doing oh I didn't ask bill. them what is your diet. I didn't ask. Your parents, bill. They had fun and party. They didn't. They were now helping whack jobs. These health yeah, kickers. Whack jobs. They didn't go for all this help. They had fun. Whack jobs. They fun. Didn't worry about all this stuff. They didn't do that. So fun extends life's a quality life more than less stress the better remember that rule you know how many nutrients are in a certified organic food item non-genetically I, I don't care just have fun i like chef boy rd i like a can of beans i enjoy things i enjoy steaks seafood like alfalfa and seaweed you know how rich in minerals those two things are they'll rock your world i'm telling you seriously no, they won't, if you juice them no Wheat grass, no. barley grass. No. As, as opposed to a Velveeta. <laughs> oh, I love Velveeta. Cheese whiz, all that shit. You know those cheapskates in Philadelphia that the famous Philly cheesesteak places? Yes, it's, you know it's, they use that crap? Well, well, we've known that for decades. And do you know why they use it? To cut corners. American co business. No. Capitalism. Jimmy, did you ever think they use it because people like the taste? Why don't they use like real mozzarella or provolone? They have that too. Good. You get the melt, melted the cheese whiz, which everybody loves, which made their cheese. Cheese whiz food. should be outlawed. Which? Why? Because you say because so. it's 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 processed garbage. Oh please, Jimmy, Mr. Health, stop you it. You look young, Bill, because you're not wearing glasses. You don't glasses make you look older, Bill. I don't think so. No, I no, think glasses look really. good. No, I don't agree. Yeah, but my mom said glasses make you look older. That's not true. Look how many millennials That's not true. wear glasses. Glasses look good. They add class to a lot of people. Look no. how look how many men millennials young people wear glasses glasses look good you know. a lot of people wear glasses with no prescription lenses because they look better with them i mean that's, that's actually a fact where do you get this stuff from people tell me i look older with my glasses oh you though. look like a whole an old hag for 30 years <laughs> <laughs> It's like you should be flying out there on a broomstick come on, on a broomstick around. you know really on I mean, a broomstick stop stop it. No, if you want to laugh, look at him. <laughs> oh man, that that's a one in a million laugh. It's like Gilbert Godfrey. Oh, no, uh, 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 Horshack. Horshack, I'm sorry. <laughs> God, oh, Eileen. Oh my God. You can't make this stuff up. Good goobly goo, like Grady Wilson used to say. I don't know. Take them all. Let me see. No big difference. Nothing wrong with them one or all. It's like, why do some young guys have grow a goatee and a mustache? They still look young. Yeah, but they look awful when they take it off, too. That's where they grew it. A lot of guys really, I look bad. You know, a beard and what have you, something to hide behind. Well, actually, Rock Hudson and Tom Selleck occasionally did shave their mustache off. Well, and they yeah. look good both ways. But then again, they kept it so 
mildly trimmed, thin trimmed. Yeah. But they, but they did look better with the mustaches, but they did look, they look fine, fine without it. She looked good with a mustache. Clint Eastwood. He, high plant when he did spaghetti westerns, had the... <laughs> why did you grow a mustache? Why is she laughing at us? Why get a grow... As I said, why don't you grow a mustache? I don't have hair for a mustache. Well, we'll get you a fake one. Will you wear it? Oh, like a Groucho oh, Marx no. disguise? <laughs> we'll get you one of those comes out and twists up around the end. With a big... No oh, the handlebar. <laughs> hey, I haven't seen you in a longer time. Hi, did you miss me? What, do you got a boo-boo? Hello there, how are you? You got a boo-boo? You got... Oh, that should be a Ronald McDonald band-aid. That's not official, you know. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> it's, Have it's, a nice evening, okay? Bye. That's a pretty band-aid. It's royal blue. Ronald McDonald band-aid. He's right about that. Yeah. You know, they used to have these ridiculous orange polyester uniforms. Oh, yeah. McDonald's employees. <laughs> oh, boy. Darlene, crazy about Jimmy. Uh, don't even get into that. That's like... Let me tell you something. You talk it through a dose of Jimmy. I'm more slick than you think. Oh, no, you're not. And I'm definitely way ahead of you. I got your number. Yeah, all right. Is Arlene crazy about me at all? <laughs> I've got your number. Well, you won't even use O'Keefe on your hands. I use it all the time in the winter. Then what happened? Well, why I'm is the it... one I think they told you about. Well, why is it dry? I Because I wash them a lot in summer. Well, put O'Keefe on it. Well, how did you get off on that now? What are you... Because you're supposed to be perfect. But why do you keep bouncing off the walls? And the... He's got some imagination thing. Does Jimmy have a wild imagination where he likes to change the subject real quick? He's, he's like this guy I used to hang out with, Andrew Anderson. He, he loves to get under my skin and push my buttons. He well, loves Jimmy, it. He relishes he got under it. his skin. He didn't like a lot of your behavior. He did. He pissed him off. Well, he was a jealous fuck. No, he wasn't jealous. You know, it is possible for a man to be a jealous bitch. But he wasn't jealous of you. He got pissed off. No, no. Like when you were falling in, in no, the old one. He got no, he used, to, he used to talk about me behind my back all the time. Well, not about women. No way. No, I had nothing to do well, with that. He's jealous. What's he jealous of? No, he used to... No, he used to say things like, oh, you got a lot more hair than me. You're, you're a little taller than me. My friend, my friend. Because he was my, losing his hair. Without anybody talking, my friend and Jimmy. That was so funny. Funny, Bill. Oh, oh you like me? You just got it, didn't you? God, I leave. That, that was so funny when she said that we both are jealous of her guy that we wanted. That was the yeah, funniest I'll thing she said. Handle, you know what? You better, put, you better do that. I'll be right back. You don't want Dick Trickle. Alright. <laughs> well, well you know I like I like the faucets they have. It's like a little waterfall the way it comes out. They have the, the new style of uh, faucets. You know what I really hate? The person I I hate low flow faucets and shower heads. He used to date her years ago. Low flow. Low flow. And they only have Water in this place. I like warm water. They have warm water in here. No, they got warm water in here. No, no, no. I mean these cheap asses that put the low flow, you know, faucets. They have cold water for the longest time, Bill, yeah? No, I don't know. I had no I had no problem getting warm water. Oh, I used to go in the ladies' room. It was always nice warm water. Well, the ladies' room too, I used to use that. No, I spread, you yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong. They had cold water. For no, the time. I had to because things were broken. I had my friend Edith. I had, come I had cold water when I used it for quite a while. Well, you've got to, it should not go to the right. It goes to the left for hot. To the left. You have to regulate it. You were going the wrong way. You see, Eileen. Eileen. Oh, jeez. She is a piece of work. Yeah. 
Five minutes just to tell us about the fog. It's a different type of force. So, it's always left or right to get hot or cold. I mean. It is a lever, right? A lever, and, but the lever goes left to right. That's how you do it, Arlene. Right, right to left. left to warm, right for cold. It's not a hot or cold force. Yes, it is. It's got to be. They have to provide It has both. to be. Arlene, what? Stop. It has to be, Arlene. It has to be. Jeez. It, it, we're in the 21st century, Arlene. It's not I'll do what she does to us. I'll mention her name well, a thousand. Well, I don't think it does in the med room, men's room either, but it has like a blue and a red. And people know red is hotter, blue means colder. So now what do you want to argue about now? God, Eileen, for God's sake. Again, I can't get through. Just think of how much just think of how much less entertainment there would be if she didn't show up. Oh, we're going to the wedding of her and Ray. Oh my God, could you imagine? Are you gonna have an open bar at this wedding? You better. <laughs> Tell Ray, you better not be cheap and serve, serve soda and, and seltzer water. Well, Ray's got the, I, don't, I think he's got the land on the planet first. I don't, he's up there orbiting right now. Yeah, right, could you picture them propagating children? How's football going, Bill? The season hasn't is, started listen, yet. We don't need, we don't need reproduction from. Oh, one day he was in here. He made. You know, I said, I said, Ray, enough. I can't follow you. I don't even know what you're talking about. It makes you're making no sense. I said, you've got to stop this. No, but it's the way it. it's the way he speaks. Uh, such an obnoxious. When he gets off on subjects, where are you? Where are you? Like he goes, you guys having a powwow? Remember that time? And he like interrupt the question that you were. You asking? You asking the amulet? You were asking it. By Eileen's friend Ray has incredible psychological and mental issues. Holy crap. Does he have serious mental and psychological issues, Ray? The amulet says yes. Big yes. Yeah. Well, you could tell by the way he talks. I dare to tell you this, 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 this. You know. He's just a, oh. And but he was whispering to you that that afternoon when you ran out of here. Yeah, his oh, voice. Oh yeah, you were the one whispering with him. What do you mean? Oh yeah. <laughs> Listen to you. Listen oh, when yeah. when some when a loud obnoxious buffoon suddenly whispers in conversation, something's going on. And then he leaves in less than thirty seconds. Boy, right. oh, you shot out so, of here so fast. Plans were made. Well, I know I crossed my heart to where it died, and I didn't do anything with them. Because so. Eileen liked being with Ray. You didn't take Ray home with you? I didn't take Ray home with me. I know Jimmy? That. Jimmy. Ah. What? Does, do you like Ray being, being with Ray? You like being with Ray. I think Ray is nice. I'll admit But I mean, being with him. I mean, like. I, I think he's a nice guy. I mean, would you, you know, uh, uh, um, go beyond just friendship? No, I would. Okay, okay. But I think he's a nice guy. I like talking to him. Okay. Oh, boy, maybe you can't. I can't. He doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, he makes sense to you, though. That's, that's odd. <laughs> Jesus, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> How's football going? It hasn't begun yet. Oh, Jesus. She'd understand. Oh, it's going great. He's like, oh. Eileen. Jesus. He's all right. He's friendly, you know? Well, so is Ted Bundy, they say. <laughs> Who's Ted Bundy? The killer? One of the worst serial killers in... American history. You see how he looked, all dressed up with a tie. Yeah. And yeah. He had a tie and dress shirt. You better on. worry if Ray picks you up one night and he's wearing a sport coat and a bow tie. Then you know something's up. Ne listen, <laughs> never, never trust. No, well, ne all, all roads lead to Rome. I would never trust somebody with a large bow tie or even a small bow. Well, what do you think? Any bow tie? A big, like a car dealer clown. Uh, yeah, it's like, yeah, right. Or, 
Pol- got clowns because they don't wear long ties. Not they wear bow ties. Yeah. And a politician. You, you used to be a clown, right? <laughs> Effer. I was never a clown. <laughs> you weren't. And a what were you doing driving that little car in the circus? <laughs> <laughs> and a bow tie on a politician, huh? Orville Redenbacher, remember the popcorn? See the circus clown, the car going around? There's, yeah. there's Eileen driving, going like this to everybody. <laughs> car going around the circus, hey, fuck you. <laughs> remember that popcorn guy, Orville Redenbacher? Remember those commercials? She has the small statue of him at home. <laughs> no, she does, did she ever tell you? Orville? Yeah. If you have a kid with Ray, don't name it Orville, please. No, or name, Bozo. Him, name him Redenbacher. <laughs> Rickenbacker, oh, that's Eddie Rickenbacker. Eddie Rickenbacker and Rickenbacker guitars, huh? He, he was a popcorn uh, king, I guess. King. He owned a huge king. corporation. Like Jimmy Dean Breakfast Sauce. Yeah, he owned a huge corporation. Of, I guess you could say he was the king of pop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did like Jimmy Dean Sauce. Oh, I still like it. You said you did. No, I still no, like I like. No, it's still around. I That's mean, why I said you said I did like yeah. it. I, I mean, he's I the do. he's deceased, but his product is still, you know, you know, like it's like Wendy's. The daughter took over, and you know, she, oh, Wendy's is named after her. See, it's a corporation. You don't fold up just because the founder passes away. But, Chick, but, Chick-fil-A. But but the quality of the food is always better when it's a family-owned business instead of corporate. Because says who? Because corporations cut corners when, on. The portions, the quality. You got this down to a science, huh? Oh, you really think CEOs are that are that great, huh? I think some that when they buy it up, they want to make it better. They improve the quality. Others cut corners. Like uh, it takes uh, all kinds. Polio Tropical was started by a Cu- Miami Cuban guy, and the portions were big. As soon as he sold it to the Carroll Corporation, all of a sudden the portions went way down. That's way down. One. They uh, use the others. They expand the menu, bigger portions, a little bit. Look at the uh, uh, Boston Market. They give you a little scoop. It is a little scoop. Unless you tell them, hey, come on, man. I've no problem with Boston Market. Everybody loves them. They do a great business. And, and they also give you tiny portions unless you ask them. No, I, I'm fine with them. Yeah. I like Boston Market. I love it. Yeah. It's good oh, stuff. You, you're, not, you're not a big eater. So I think it's good. Well, think it's no, good. the food tastes great, but they just are stingy with the portions. Boy, you bitch here about the ice cream cone. Let me tell you here. something, brother. I go to this great buffet owned by a Turkish. His, and he gets I, his money. Right. They don't make any money off of me. He, he eats. He and Sal could have a contest. No, I beat the system. No, you and Sal could have a I contest. I suck all the food down. They don't make any profit on you me. You and Sal could have a it's great not, contest. No, no, it's not Chinese. No, it's an international buffet. It's owned by a Turkish man who's a chef, and all the seafood is fresh, not Where? frozen. Just... It's called the Royal Hibachi uh, oh, Buffet. Oh, shut down? Then no, yeah, yeah. no, they're in the Saddlebrook Mall. They're back open again? No, they never shut down. Okay. No, they used to be called um, um, they had, under another name by another owner. Yes, they had shut down, but not this this place. This is a new one. All right. Now the other one is pretty yeah, not let me bad. Get my stuff in. Uh, um, you two keep talking. Uh, no, not necessarily. The flaming grill is great too, but they got too busy. You have to wait on a long line to get a table. I'll be, well, I won't be back. I'll well, get my stuff franchise, out. franchise uh, restaurants are crap too, as opposed to family-owned restaurants. But I digress. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.